Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about the back crucifix. These are some ways to really threaten your opponent and make the position stronger. These little details will help you with a no-handed arm bar and help set up those rear naked chokes, gi or no gi. Alright guys, so let's take a look at the positions. There's many ways to get to the back crucifix and there's also many little details to make the back crucifix really threatening to my opponent. So a lot of us have seen it or been in it, but these are my favorite things to really make the back crucifix the worst position for my opponent. So um, when we're in our opponent's in turtle and I'm riding with my knee in the hole here, I like to reach deep to control the hip and maybe ride the wrist a little bit, but there's some people that like, I'm one of them, like to grab this wrist and roll through. So if Bo um, catches my wrist here and I know that he's trying to lock me in for a roll on this side, when I feel that momentum start to shift and go that way, I'm going to control the speed of the roll. So when he's rolling me, he thinks he's being offensive, he's being safe. So as he starts to roll, I'm going to look for the neck then I'm going to roll through faster. So we're going to take a look at this position from a different angle. So once we've gone through this roll, imagine like we're just finishing this roll, Bo has rolled me through, his elbow's coming down to the ground. 99.99% .99 of the time, he's still going to have my wrist, and he's going to have his elbow near the ground or slightly above the ground. So what I like to do is, as I'm rolling through, is drop this knee underneath it so that I can very easily grab over the top. So this starts my crucifix here. When I do this, I want to make sure I slide up under him enough. To get the other side of the crucifix, a lot of people will try to fight the wrist by rolling it away or trying to pull their thumb out. All I need to do here, sometimes I'll bait him a little bit, going every which way, is I'm just going to answer the phone. As I answer the phone, it peels the grip off. He grabs me tight. I'm going towards only his thumb, and I get into this nice position here. I like to grab the back of my head. From here, if this guy tries to drive up onto me, here, that usually exposes the neck. I can finish one-handed. The other one that I can do is I can go for an armbar on this side. I like to threaten both the armbar and the choke. So if I catch with the top leg, I'm already in position for this armbar. I'm still looking for the neck. To get this here, I'm gonna drop down towards his wrist, bringing both knees up and over. I'm gonna flare my knee out to the side, Lift my hips. Okay. What a lot of people do is they try to finish their arm bar from here and it's very easy for this guy to bend his arm and pull it out. So once I step over, I'm going to swivel my hips out towards his head, flurrying the knee out, lifting, there's the arm bar. Okay. Now, this is more common in gi if this guy tries to control my knee. Here, or better yet, the top knee to try to turn into me. Maybe I don't even have I haven't answered the phone yet, I can't swivel over the top because this is in the way. So I'm going to catch it with the bottom leg. A little bit of flexibility required. Again, in the gi, he's got a really good grip here. I can't catch it. So I'm going to drop my heel over the top. I'm going to pull it down. Okay? I can hang out in a, for a moment in a triangle here, but to get back to the arm bar, I'm going to put my heel in the hole behind my knee. Most people try to go toes, not as strong. I'm gonna put that heel, drop it right into that little hole, hit heavy, I'm gonna pull it back and out, start putting pressure on there, again, looking for the neck, again, just answering the phone with wrist control, all of those things are gonna make Bo's life pretty miserable. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe now.